This took a few minutes to create and it's already generated over $22,000 in passive income. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of building a passive income sticker business from home. It's super easy to do and all you need is a laptop. And the great thing about it is you don't need to be a graphic designer. You don't even need to print anything yourself because with this method, we're going to be working smarter, not harder by utilizing the power of AI and automation to do most of the hard work. That means that we don't have to design any stickers ourselves and we don't even have to print them or ship them because we're going to use AI technology to create us next level fast selling designs in seconds. Then we're going to use Printful, the print on demand service to actually print and ship our stickers to our customers after they've bought, meaning that we don't have to invest in any stock up front and we can start selling stickers today and start making passive income. And if you're wondering why stickers, well, those funny little sticky things are making people hundreds of thousands of dollars per year because they sell like crazy. But it's still a fairly untapped side hustle that anyone can do. So all you have to do is follow what I'm going to show you in this video, click a few buttons, and you can really have your very own sticker business by the end of this video. But before we dive in, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is actually Printful, the print on demand service that we're going to be using later on in the video. Now let's dive in. So step one is all about the ideas. So the great thing about starting a sticker business is you could create stickers for anything, for any niche, for any type of person. So, but we can do a bit of market research to kind of see what's going to sell well and what we actually want to kind of focus on at the start. Now, first of all, when you're thinking about this, you've got to think who the target audience for stickers are. Now, usually it's younger demographic, like people in college, college students, those type of people, maybe even younger, you could go for like really young stickers for kids or you could go for like teenage stickers. People that will maybe want to stick them on pencil cases or they want to stick them on their laptops just to make themselves seem a bit quirky and stand out. That's kind of the target audience we're going to be going for. Now, one great place to do research to actually find what's selling well is this website here called Etsy, which is a marketplace where people buy and sell things. Definitely in this niche of like stickers and craft and things like that. So you can see a lot of people who are already selling stickers on here and we can kind of see what's selling well and give us some ideas of what we want to create stickers about. So just come over to Etsy here and type in sticker. It's a great start. And you can start to see some products that are selling. These skulls, we've got some animals and you can see like this one here it's a random little duck with a little butter knife in its mouth really simple design it's and if we click on this now I've got a little Chrome extension called Allura, which is an analytics tool for Etsy, and it shows you how many sales these shops are making. And if we just turn this on here, you can see that this very simple duck sticker has generated nearly $300 so far already. Now that's just one simple sticker. There's some that are absolutely crushing it even higher than this, like this one I found earlier. So it's a sticker pack, and I'm gonna show you how we can create these very, very easily in this video. This sticker pack here of little dinosaurs has generated over $22,000 in revenue so far far. So there's the possibility of this is, is off the scale and this is just two little examples. But we can actually look at research here and say, well, little dinosaurs seem to be selling quite well or little animals. Another great tip is we can come over to ChatGPT, which is the AI chatbot. And you can say, give me a list of ideas for stickers. And it literally gives you a, a list of ideas of stickers. So, so cute animals is great. Cartoon characters, food and drink. So things like coffee, because people like coffee, like I love coffee and stuff like that. Might want a little sticker to stick on their coffee mug, that kind of thing. So there's so many different options and different avenues we can go down with our ideas to actually create these stickers. Now it's time for the fun part, which is designing these stickers. Now, traditionally, if you wanted to get into creating a sticker business, you would have to be some kind of graphic designer or illustrator. You'd have to be skilled. But now, using the power of AI, we can actually skip that part and create some epic standout designs using AI technology. So there's a few tools that I'm going to be using in this method, but the first tool to actually create these stickers is Midjourney. And I have spoken about Midjourney a few times in the past on this channel, but if you don't know, Midjourney is an epic AI art generator. And we basically just need to type in a few words and ask it to create an image and it can create us almost any kind of images. And we're going to use these images in our sticker designs. So if you want to use this, you need to come over to Midjourney and then it will ask you to access it via Discord, which is an online chat program. And all we need to do is, is come to Discord and we need to send this Midjourney bot a little message asking it to create an image and it will create us an image based on what we're asking it to create. And we can use that image in our sticker design. And these are unique images that don't already exist that are actually generated by AI as you ask for them. So it's, it's crazy stuff. But here's how you use Midjourney. So we go forward slash imagine like this. 
and then it asks us to type in a prompt and then we just need to ask it to create the image so if we want to create some stickers we need to make sure they're kind of cartoony and they need to kind of fit into that design we don't want it to be creating like realistic 3d designs we want cartoon style so you want to type something along the lines of cute cartoon and then we just type whatever our niche is so i'm thinking like food and drink maybe we're going to go iced coffee and here's the important part with black outline and that just means that there's going to be a black outline around the image which is vital for us to actually create the stickers a little bit later on so we just type in that and then within about 60 seconds mid journey will give us four options and if we like any of those options we can actually upscale one of them and then we can use it in our design so let's just see what it comes back with so mid journey has given me these four options here which i think are great they kind of fit their niche they're fun they're cute and i think they'll be really good as stickers so i've just clicked on u4 which means upscale version 4 and now it's giving me this larger image of this the coffee cup which looks a little bit sad but i think that's quite cool for the design that i'm thinking of and then we click on open in browser then you can just right click and then save that image to your desktop now this is not ready to be used as a sticker just yet there's a few more things that we need to do so what i do is i take it to this program here called kittle which is similar to canva but it's a little bit more advanced they've got quite a few more features so i like to use this for my print on demand designs and they seem to be a lot more orientated towards print on demand so what you can do is is take it in here and then click on new project click on create and then what you can do is come over to here to upload and then upload your image that you've just taken from mid journey and you can obviously resize it here and you can see it a little bit bigger now this isn't usable because it's got a white background around it so what we actually need to do is remove that background before we can actually use this as a sticker so we can click on ai background remover and we've instantly done that now in theory we can actually sell this as a sticker as it is because it's a cool sticker and someone would probably want to use that so that's great but what we can do is actually create some different designs and variations maybe add in some text and things like that and this is what kittle's really good for so really good tip is come here to designs and if you scroll down they've got loads of pre-made designs but they actually have a section called stickers that have got lots of sticker designs as well and we can actually play around with these to create our stickers so for example we can maybe click on this design here click on new project and we've got some really cool sticker designs already and we can actually incorporate our images that we've created using ai to these sticker designs so now we can actually use these little designs as a head start if we want to add text and things to our to our sticker designs because we kind of know what's already working quite well so what we don't want to do is we don't want to create the sticker sheets with multiple stickers on inside of kittle we want to actually just download individual stickers which we can upload to printful and we can actually still create these sticker sheets with multiple stickers on but we do that inside of printful and we can kind of mix and match them that way so that's why we just want to create individual stickers but what we want to do first of all is we need to remove this white border around the image because kittle obviously wants these to look like stickers so they've added this white background around them but we don't want that white background around them when we're uploading to Printful because Printful is actually going to add this white background around them as well. So we need to remove that white background. It's very easy to do inside of Kittle. We just go to layers down here. So it's similar to Photoshop in a way. We can actually look at these layers, go to sticker two, and then the outline there, and we just want to turn that off. So now we can't see that white outline. And that white outline will be added when we add it to Printful a little bit later on. So what we can do is select this design, click on copy, and then we can come back to Kittle and open new project and then paste that in and now we've got this design without the border and then we can start playing around with it to create our own unique designs using the images that ai generated so we'd obviously want to get rid of that i did a little coffee cup that we've already cut out earlier and as you can see we've already got a little cool sticker forming but maybe we want to change this to i hate mondays then we can just resize that text now we've got a cool little sticker that someone might want to actually print out so then we click on download and then we want to change the dpi to 300 which just means the quality of the image and then we can click on remove background and then download as a png and then we can save that but what we want to do is create multiple stickers so you can actually use this same design for multiple times so maybe we do want to download it without the text so we can just download it as a big version without the text and then we could obviously go back to discord and ask it to create different things like this cup of coffee here which i got it to create earlier so maybe we want a different cup of coffee who is a bit happier add in some different text so it could be something along the lines of that which is like i love coffee and you get the idea i also just wanted to add that kittle are actually in the process of rolling out their own ai image generator which you can use with inside of kittle but i will do a separate video about that in the future so then you can just go through the process of creating lots of individual stickers some with text on some without text different designs different niches different characters and start creating them and download them to your desktop i would say you would need at least 20 individual sticker designs to get started with this because we're actually going to be creating sticker sheets with lots of stickers on one individual sheet 
So step three is we need to actually upload these designs to Printful. So Printful is a print on demand service where they will take care of all of the printing and the fulfillment and the shipping of our stickers. And they sell lots of different types of products from t-shirts, mugs, wall print, every single different type of product you can think of. You can upload the design and Printful will actually take care of that print it and ship it to your customer for you. But for this business, we're just gonna be focusing on stickers. So what you first need to do is, is sign up to Printful. You can use my referral link in the description down below and create a free Printful account. And once you've created your Printful account, it should look something like this. It might look a little bit different because I already have an account. And then you can just come here to the product templates section and then you can create your first product template. Then we wanna come down here to home and living, scroll down to stationery and then you can click on stickers. And as you can see here, there's two different types of stickers we can choose from there's just a standard sticker here and there's a sticker sheet this one starts at two pound and this one starts at four pounds fifty the, the little hack is though you can actually sell sticker sheets using this cheaper version as well because they will actually print out multiple stickers on the same sheet so this is the one that i'm going to use and i choose the larger version here which is 5.5 times 5.5 inches and then we can come to this and we can upload our designs for our stickers so we're still going to create a sticker sheet in this instance so we come here to design click on choose file and then you click on upload file then you can just upload some of the sticker designs that you've created click on apply and they will add it on there as one big image but if we click transform we can actually make this smaller because we're going to actually turn this into a sticker sheet so we can have it about that big there and then we can just go back to see design layers choose file and then we can upload another design so maybe this one life's better with coffee and we can add this one so we're going to do like a kind of a coffee themed sticker sheet so now I've created a little four sticker sheet, which we can actually get printed by Printful. Obviously this is a coffee themed one. You don't need to keep them all the same theme because someone might want different stickers. So they might want a coffee one, they might want a, a work one, they might want an owl one. So you can kind of mix and match them, which is why it's good to actually download them as individual stickers. And then you can create different sticker sheets and mix and match them. So you've got lots of products to offer. But if we click on here, you can click on mock-up view and you can see what these will look like when they're actually printed out and cut out as actual stickers. And as you can see here, they've got the a little white outline around them and there's a little mock-up here so you can see what they would look like on a laptop one thing which i didn't mention before when you're creating the designs and you're adding text you want to make sure that everything in this sticker is touching or very very close to each other so the text here is touching this coffee cup which means that when printful actually cut it out they'll make sure that they print it out as one sticker and not two individual stickers so it's always important to get them touching if there was a bit of a gap there printful might actually create these as two individual stickers so that's that and then you can click on continue and then you can just name this and then click on save product template. Now you can create a few of these individual sheets and just save them to your Printful profile for now. So step four is all about selling our sticker designs, how we're actually going to get people buying our sticker designs so we can start earning some money. There's a few ways we can do this. The way that I'm going to be using in this strategy and the one that I've used a lot in the past is Etsy.com. So obviously it's the one that we was looking at before where people are already selling stickers so we know there's a big market for it. And the great thing about Etsy.com is that it connects directly to Printful so it can be all automated. So if someone buys from your Etsy store, you don't have to fulfill that order. You haven't got to approve it. It will just go straight through to Printful Printful will print it out and they'll ship it to your customers. So it's great. There's other ways that we can sell these. We could sell them on like Facebook Marketplace. You can even create your own Shopify store selling stickers. But one of the best ways is Etsy. And the great thing about Etsy is it's got lots of free traffic. People are coming here looking for stickers. So I would come to Etsy and what you first need to do is create your Etsy store. So a great tip if you want to do this for free, if you come over to Etsy.com and type in 40 free listings, you will actually see people with listings that are called 40 free listings. And it says you've got to pay here, but they're actually there's no purchase necessary and all this is is people advertising their referral link for Etsy which means that if you click on their referral link they will get 40 free listings and you get 40 free listings which means you can upload 40 individual sticker packs to Etsy and you don't have to pay any money to list them on Etsy so you can actually get started totally for free so if you just click on their referral link it should open up with a button where you can actually join Etsy and get your 40 free listings and open your shop. So you just click on open store today, fill in your details, your email address, your personal information, go through those steps, and then you'll be able to create your Etsy store very, very easily, very, very quickly. Then what you want to do is come back over to Printful, and then you want to come over to this section here where it's called stores, choose platform, and then you click on Etsy and click on connect, and then you can click on connect to Etsy and just click on allow access. And now we can actually send our designs that we created inside of Printful over 
over to our Etsy store. So to do that, you'd come over to your store and then you click on add product and then you hover over to my product templates, which will take you to the stickers that you already created earlier. These ones here, and then you can click on that. We want five by five and you just follow the steps, proceed to mockups and it will actually create us some mockups with our stickers on. You won't be able to preview them just yet, but we can see what they're gonna look like. Click on that. So then we just need to fill in the title here. So you can just add a title in like this. So four cute coffee vinyl stickers, perfect for your coffee cup. Something that someone might be searching for. I want coffee cup stickers, that kind of thing. So then we just add in the description here and then you can add in tags as well, which is, is what people will be looking for. So type in like vinyl stickers, coffee stickers, and kind of just go through and think what people would be searching for. Then we can click on proceed to price it. And then this is where we can actually set how much profit we want to make. So the print full price for these Kiss Cut stickers because is £2.40, so we can kind of add a margin what we want to earn. So the thing is, i seen before people were selling individual stickers for like 2 or $3, and we're actually going to sell a pack of four stickers as well, so there's quite a bit of room for us to make some profit here. But we can say set revenue of £4, so we're going to make £1.60 profit, but obviously there's a few Etsy fees and, and paying tax and things like that, so let's just say with £1.60, we might be making £1 every time we sell a pack of four stickers. Now, these are very low-priced things, so people buy them in in their droves so you can actually get a lot of money coming in from selling really low price products like stickers and then we can just click on next and now what that's going to do is going to upload that sticker design directly to our Etsy account. So what that's done now is that sent that over to our Etsy store. So we just need to go over to Etsy just to make it live. And now our stickers are available for sale and we can start making passive income. So then you want to come back over to Etsy and then you come over to listings and then click on drafts here. And then you'll see all of the products that you've sent over from Printful. So here's our stickers here and we can click on these and we can kind of edit or change it if we want. So obviously we've got some mock-ups already been created here. Um, and we can go through and we can change the title if we need to. We've got the price there. The shipping is being charged as well on top to your customers. So you don't need to worry about shipping. That's all taken care of. Then we just scroll down here and then click on publish. And now you can see my stickers are currently available on Etsy. And look at these really cool images that shows you what they're looking like. They're available for, to buy for £4.00 and I can start making some money from selling these stickers. Now, the key to being successful with something like this is uploading loads and loads of designs. So if you think you need to upload 10 designs, times it by 10, upload 100 individual designs because you never know what's gonna sell well. And the more you upload, the more chance you're gonna have of actually making sales. Now, stickers are a great way of earning some side income, but if you wanna earn a lot more money, still using AI art, then make sure you watch this video that I recorded a little while ago. And don't forget, you can sign up to Printful using my affiliate link in the description down below. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Cheers, guys.